Hey everybody, it's Michael, and this is Veilguard from Lost Tower Games. It's kind of a tower defense game, and you sort of move from town to town, building up their defenses and fighting off zombies and doing lots of interesting things. Uh, this is from Lost Tower Games, if I didn't say, and it is on Steam. You can find a link in the description below. The devs were kind enough to send me a key, so I thought I would take a look at it here. I've been getting a lot of these tower defense game keys from developers recently, and I love the indie, so I, I try to cover them when I can, uh, but I'm not terribly good at it. So we're going to we're gonna give this a go here. I'm going to go ahead and do it on easy, and we'll see how it goes. Something dark stirs in the wilderness, and the quiet hamlets of the Vale stand defenseless. A lone veil guard hurries to a nearby village with hope. There is still time to fortify. And we get some tips here. Armor greatly increases unit survivability, and that seems pretty reasonable. I've played just a couple of the uh, couple of the towns in here, and it's not super hard. Um, but there are a lot of moving parts for such a what looks like a fairly simple game. So, um, okay, it's interesting. These stories seem to change all the time. Shortly after arriving in town, you hear cheers. Returning from battle is a victorious ranger. They stop and address you as you approach. Welcome to the front lines, Vale Guard. We need houses for workers and weapons for soldiers. I'd say that we have about two weeks before the main attack, and at the moment, I'm the only defense this place has, so I hope you're as good as they say. Okay, survive 15 days to move on. Uh, defeat if our inn is destroyed or all heroes die. Build up your population of the defenses to hold off enemy waves. Enemies attack at night and always come from the mist. Here's the mist, so I guess they would be coming from this way. So we, uh, we have here some houses. I guess this is the inn. This is a farm, I believe, over here. Uh, this is a guard tower. I'm not, sure, I'm not actually sure what that is. Blacksmith, okay. Uh, and then there's some various resources around. We've got resources up here on top, too. So, let's just follow the tutorial. It wants us to build a house to grow our town. So we're going to put it here. Notice the little blue thing on top of it. Um, each house provides one worker, but I think this blue thing is a bonus that we get from the well which gives us an extra worker there. And so now we can look at our workers here. We're gonna assign workers. So let's put, it's gonna need two workers to build that house. And then food is a little different. So you can have up to three guys working in a field and you put them in on planting day. And then I think they're kind of idle until harvest day, which is like four days away. So we're gonna get 60 food in like four days. And we'll also get these workers back. But I think they've got to commit them for that whole time. If you take somebody out, you have food loss. But you might need to to make weapons or, or do whatever. So we'll end the day. Calm and uneventful night, thankfully. Uh, we built a house. More house means more workers. Let's have them build some weapons. Okay. So assign some workers and end the turn. So I guess we're going to put all four of our extra guys on spears. Looks like it. Oh, bows. Alright, so we're going to put them on bows. Well, that's fine. Rains during the night, and by morning the storm has passed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Monsters will likely attack tonight. Luckily, the bows you built, displayed in the top, are enough to make a bowman squad. Let's go. Okay, how do we make a bowman squad? From the troop menu, uh, we can do that. That's going to cost us 20 gold and 4 bows. And then we can cool. drop them down, and there they are. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Now, what should we be doing tonight, though? Because we have a few workers, right? We have... We can't make any more bows, that's for sure. But we're out of wood, so why don't we assign some people to get us some wood so maybe we can build another house or two? Harvest is in two days. Mist grows from the ab old abandoned mill as frost forms on the windows. You fear the rumors are true, and the place is host undead. Prepare for an attack. Okay. Uh, hero info. Abilities use energy, the yellow bar. Energy recharges daily, so use it generally. Uh, generously. I do not know what we can do. Fire arrows is our special ability? I don't know. Protect your town, don't let them die. Basic unit control. Left click to select, right click to move and attack. Units automatically engage when in range. Use spacebar to slow time. During slow time, you can issue orders. Okay. We can zoom in and out. We can WASD to pan. All right. Toggle slow time to continue. So I've got slow time on. Oh, okay. Nope. Hello. Do we need to pull you back, maybe? 
Let's pull him back, and hopefully the archers can take care of him. Is this going to be the only dude? How do I use this thing here? Oh, fire arrows. Not fire as a verb, fire as a descriptor. So we can use Q to use that. Okay, well, I should definitely do it then. Uh, some of them carried great weapons indeed, fit for a true warrior. We got an axe. All right, that's pretty cool. Word of your first victory travels quickly. A messenger brings news throughout the Vale. The Paladins have taken our arms in the service of the new Vale Guard. Paladin class unlocked. Okay, that's cool. For more info and tips, consult the Vale Guard manual. So we do have a help manual here. This is available from the main screen that talks about the various bits of things. It's about the well bonus, uh, how farming works, how resources work, and uh, you can also get like horses and mount your guys. Uh, again, haven't done all this, and then these are the various types of units. So let's hope they give us some more tips here. We've only got 30 wood. A house is 40, so I think we're going to want to get some more wood. Yeah, we might as well just leave everybody in lumber. I guess. I guess. Uh, I would like to get enough axes to build a... Uh, to build an axe person unit. Okay, after the regular crowd leaves the inn, you see a group of out-of-towners circled around the table. They're playing 20 dragons, a game of chance where players roll dice to battle fictional monsters. They invite you to make a wager. Uh, they're not playing papers and paychecks, huh? Seven gold, 15 gold. Just watch the game, you aren't in the mood for gambling tonight. Well, we don't have a lot of gold, but what the heck, let's bet big. Hmm. Yeah. Several bad rolls. The Hydra defeats your character. Better luck next time, says the Game Master as he collects his winnings. You hope the townsfolk don't find out where this money went. Thankfully, uh, usually role-playing games don't require you to bet. Um, I would do poorly if they did. So we could get another house. And that would give us two more workers, I think. Which seems like a good thing to do. And then we'll have to assign... two guys there looks like we used about 30 food so we should definitely have these guys we should just leave these guys over here much as I would like to have them do something else your bones chill in the night and no fire can warm them the undead are here okay the undead are gonna be coming from over here alright so let's do let's do slow time Bullwind. I don't know what that guy just said, Bullwick, and then we can let him get over there. So you guys get over there, and we're probably going to be dealing with some uh, with some tougher guys this time around. Okay, we took out that lead dude, and that's good, because he looked a little bit tough. Now, these guys don't seem to move in fire, so if you're not in position... Yeah, that dude's fairly tough. Okay, we got 10 gold. That's good. Merchant cart has arrived. Perhaps some trading can be done. Okay. Uh, okay, we, yeah, we click on the merchant cart to trade. So we could buy some stuff. It's 24 per axe. Wow, okay, that's a lot. Have we got anything we could sell? We could get 16. You know what? We could sell that. And then pick up enough bows for another group. Can we do that? That takes 20 gold. And one worker. Right? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, let's get some more guys. That seems like a good idea. And then what what do we have here in terms of people? We have uh, nobody building anything. So, And we don't have actually enough wood to build, I think, anything. So let's put them all on wood. Maybe we should put one on iron. Let's do that. That'll get us up to 60 wood. Okay, let's try it. Veteran mercenary is passing through town and offers to train your troops. He will charge a premium and he will need armor for the use in the combat exercises. You don't have the shields in supply. So we do have to make some shields. Glances towards your men with a look of concern before he departs. I hope this bunch will survive the next next attack. Good luck, Belgard. Yeah, I hope they will too. Um, Alright, well let's see what's up. We have now 60 wood. Do we get a bonus 
if we put a house right here. We do not. We would have to put a house right there. So the optimal configuration then would be a well in the middle and like four houses on the cardinal points, I guess. Oh no, we can get a bonus there. Oh, I thought they were showing me a bonus there. What it could do is put a well here. And that would give us a bonus on both of those. Interestingly, it does do a corner bonus there, but not over here. Well, whatever. Uh, that's fine. So what do we need for building that? We need to take somebody off lumber. Take somebody off iron. Oh gosh, we need three people to build that. Okay. What did I put again? <laughs> I forget. Oh, I built. did I build a well and a house? No, just a well. It took a lot. A farm girl comes to the end begging for help. Something has been turning our crops to ash. Our pigs keep vanishing. We'll pay you if you can rid us of this menace. If this creature is what you think it is, the job will be moderate. The bounty is 56 gold and the duration is three days. You call for volunteers. So we could hire out our bowmen for that. Is there any chance we would lose them? That's a lot of gold. Hmm. Three days, huh? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's give it a shot. Okay, we ate 12 food there. Um, there they go. Marching off. Let's get our guys back to the need. center, maybe. And then let's see what we've got here. We've got 10 wood, not enough to do anything with. Can we build anything, though? We do have six workers. We're going to harvest the food in one in one day. So if we get three of these guys doing lumber, how much wood does this take? Yeah, we don't have enough. Um, let's see. I don't know. I kind of like to be able to build a house and also build some bows. I don't know if that'll be enough, but let's try it. We'll just put everybody on lumber gathering for now. A wandering healer has come to your village with her mysterious power. She can heal your wounded for a price, of course. Uh, I don't think anybody's hurt, but I don't know. She stays the night and is gone in the morning. Can we see how wounded people can are? They've got 50. I've got 60. Looks like we're okay. Okay. Uh, so now, can we build like another house? Uh, do you get a bonus there? You do not get a bonus there or there. That's interesting. Okay. Well, that's going to take 40. How much does a road take? A road only takes two. We could put a road there and a house there. Right? And that should give us like two more workers. And then we have to see what we need to do over here. Okay, we need two workers for that. We might as well go ahead and get more lumber, I guess. I know I'm really not taking advantage of the armor type stuff. And I should be. But let's go for it. We got a new house. Some of your warriors have a drink at the tavern and unwind. Merchant card has arrived. Okay. Uh, let's see what the merchant card has. Could we sell something? Do we need to sell anything? I don't really think so. We could buy horses. Uh, that would be nice. No, let's don't do that. But now let's see what we can do over here. So we have uh, four workers unassigned. Those guys could build for us some bows. I guess. <laughs> A fox sails in as a crowd approaches town. Though your spy, through your spyglass, you see it's not a crowd, but an army of bone and steel, the undead crap. I was hoping that would happen tomorrow. So they're going to head this way. Let's get, I don't know if high ground helps, but let's try. This looks like a lot of dudes, unfortunately. Um, not taking advantage of this tower here. One of them got into town. I'm a little worried about that. Oh god, they've got archers. Okay, this could go very badly for me. Uh, how about uh, how about you fire fire arrows at these dudes? Can you do that? 
Will that help us? Okay, we might have to take him up on that healing if it happens again. Can you do it again? I need energy. No, he can't. Okay, so he only gets a little bit. A pile of wood was found. Some partially built siege equipment we can salvage this for construction materials. Alright, seems good enough. This morning you received <laughs> grave news. Your level 1 Bowman will not be returning home. They fell in battle, along with those responsible for the payment. So we didn't get anything out of that. Well, that was... Neat. That was a bad Neat. choice. And I only have two of these Bowman left. Fortunately, I do have uh, some bows now. And enough money to do them? Yes. All right. Well, that's cool, I guess. Um, wow. Okay, that really sucks. Bad decisions I have made. I have made bad decisions. Let's see. We could make some more bows. We've only got five more days to survive. Do we need another unit, or do we need what? I don't know. Um, we probably don't need any more lumber. You know what? Let's do build a house, then. Uh, let's see. If we put a house there, it's going to tell me it needs a road, I think. But we should be able to add a road, I think. Needs a road, yeah, okay. But we could put a road there. And while we're at it, how much uh, work... How many workers do we need? Just two for the house? So we don't need any workers for the road. So why don't we go ahead and put another road, like... I put a road here, we can put a house here next time. In fact, we could put another house there now. Oh no, 39. Okay, can't do that. So, let's don't make any bows. And we'll just put everybody on lumber here. This is going to be a light armor run. I don't think we'd be able to play this way on a tougher level. Your villages leave a note with the following request. Dear Lord Veilgard, Moon Festival is this evening and we would love to celebrate after our work is finished. Prepare 27 food and host the festival celebration. Um, sure, does that improve morale or something? Oh! Moon Priestess even attends. I'm impressed, Veilgard. Even in times of war, you uphold the old traditions. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Six gold for 29 food. Probably not a bargain, but whatever. Uh, we need wood. For what do we need wood? And what what is that thing floating there? It's like a mushroom. <laughs> bull wibble. Bull wibble. Okay, yeah. Go up there. Do your bull wibble up on that hill. And uh, <laughs> let's see what we need here. We have 109 wood. So can we... We have four more days to survive. Can we just make some bows, maybe? Oh, we actually have, like, all those dudes. Um... Let's go ahead and... Oh, that's the guy I was looking at. He's like a guy with a with a pack on his back, I guess. Uh, let's put that there. And I think we have these at max capacity. Can I rebuild that? Can I put a house where that road is, I wonder? Maybe. But not right now. So we cannot make more bows right now. Uh, could go ahead and try getting some iron, though. Five lumber. Uh, we're harvesting in one day. We'll get the iron. We'll get a new house built. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Uh, we don't... One of your builders tells you the archer tower in town is in need of repairs. Perhaps it could wait, but the builder insists it should be dealt with now. Reinforce the structure with nine iron or do the repairs with 15 wood. You know, we're not using the archer tower. But... Well, let's go ahead and do it. Eh, yeah. I mean, if I was using it, it might be of value. I did use it one one other time, but I mean, it's here, right? So it doesn't really cover over here. We do have some mist coming from this area now. So I guess if you built multiple towers, but at least initially, it seems like our resources are fairly limited. Um. Okay, we're ready to plant over there. Let's get rid of that. Let's put in some more... Actually, let's try making something else. We need iron for that. 32 iron for some armor. Spears. We need 40 wood for that. And then we still have four workers left. Um, let's get... 
let's replace that wood plus a little bit and then mine some iron too and see how it goes. Bad guys coming tonight? A crow delivers a sealed message. It's a bounty for a local group of ruffians. Sherman's var vermin, verman, uh, wanted, dead or alive. You have heard of Sherman and his lot. This will be easy. Uh, we would have to hire out our bowmen, and I don't think so, so our troops are not for hire at the moment. We're going to end up with some uh, bad guys pretty soon, I, I would reckon. Try my house. Can the house go there? It cannot go there. Can we demolish? Uh, clear. Can I clear that road? I can't seem to clear the road, so that's not going to happen. But you know what? Maybe we don't need any more dudes, I think. We can now, though, get some spearmen. Oh, we're kind of low on gold, but let's put them there. And I don't think there's probably any point to building any armor, but let's go ahead and try. Uh, if I go to armor, that would be 32 iron. I'm probably not going to be building many more houses, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more iron, and we'll try armoring up our guys before the end of the day. That's only 24, but we'll see. So we got eight shields. Your guards have caught a villager trying to steal from the stores, uh, food stores. You need to handle this. How shall he be punished? Uh, chopping wood. Uh, chopping wood. Chopping food. Wood. <laughs> oh my god. Thief works well in the night with your lumberjacks. It's hard labor, fair punish, but extra wood is nice too. Yeah, extra wood is always good. Merchant card has arrived. Okay. Now, uh, let's see what the merchant's got. We've only got 11 gold. Maybe we can sell something? Uh, not really. I mean, we could sell some wood, but he doesn't want to buy any wood. So, no, I guess not. But let's go to our troops. Let's go to armor here. I think... Let me, let's zoom in here. So our spearmen, we can click on them. That's a one. I cannot apparently armor these guys, so I think I've wasted that armor. I don't think we need to make that much. Oh well. Um, I guess we have enough armor now for a lot of things then. Let's get some spear dudes. Um, I don't think they'll. I don't think we'll, they'll actually come into play. But whatever, let's um, let's just go with it. Fog settles in. A crowd approaches town. Okay, not a crowd. Who knew it wasn't a crowd? Well, at least we got a little bit of armor on our spearmen. We got a couple extra bowmen there. Let's take our spearmen forward. You, let's move up here on top. And have you have you got your yeah? Shoot some fire arrows. Oh God, there are more people that come in from over here. Oh, okay, this thing is actually like an automated uh, an automated little deal there. That's not too bad. Can you get in involved in that? Get in there and attack those dudes. Uh, you guys are out of range, I guess. So, let's get shooting. Alright, that's good enough. Let's get over here. We're about to lose our, our smithy. I don't want them attacking our smithy. So, shoot. And uh, it looks like our little air... Our, little tower there did pretty well though 35 wood from a partially built siege engine and we have successfully defended the village oh that's wonderful let's see what's uh what's next here i think we're going to go to like a map screen maybe and choose what our next village is so let's see for sure if that's what happens i mean this seems like a pretty cool little game i i i, I haven't had a much chance to explore it so uh, so we did clear water, and we could go to Wood Pine or Pinshaw, and bonus points for having hexagons over here. Um, yeah, well, maybe we'll check it out some more if you guys are interested in seeing some more of it. Otherwise, uh, go check it out. It's called Veilguard uh, by Lost Tower Games, and it is on Steam. I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.